If you pee on another ovulation strip, stay at the faint line, wonder if it's dark enough, then you Google frantically, what does it even mean? Then stay with me because I will explain it to you. You might also track your basal body temperature only to see it jump up and down, leaving you more confused than before. For so many of you trying to conceive, ovulation feels like a little mystery. And then the painful truth is most of the methods we're told to use leave us doubting our bodies instead of understanding them. Now, the biggest mistake is believing that a positive OPK equals guaranteed ovulation. It doesn't. Those strips only measure luteinizing hormone. This is a hormone that spikes before ovulation. Before, by the way, before. And in PCOS, thyroid issues, or you have stress, real stress, then luteinizing hormone can surge without ovulation ever happening. Another mistake is relying only on cervical mucus, because yes, it's a beautiful sign of estrogen rising, but you can get fertile looking mucus without releasing an egg. Yes. And finally, many of you think spotting or cramps are proof of ovulation, when in reality, they can be signs of hormonal imbalances or inflammation instead. So, how do you actually know if you've ovulated? The most reliable indicator is a sustained rise in basal body temperature. And when progesterone from ovulation warms your body for at least 11 days. Progesterone is a true marker that ovulation happened, not luteinizing hormone or mucus alone. But here is a problem. If inflammation, poor thyroid function or low insulin balance disrupts ovulation, you never see that rise constantly. Here I show you, this is a client of mine who just ovulated for the very first time in four ever. And I know this because all signs were there. Luteinizing hormone, as you can see here, actually got stronger and stronger and stronger. And then her temperature also went up. You see that from here to here? Fantastic. Now, she also had cervical fertile mucus. And as well, she can't remember when she saw that for the very first time. I'm extremely pleased for her. Now, these all together tell me she probably ovulated. Now the question is, is progesterone strong enough to actually keep going to the end of her cycle? And by the looks of it, when we looked at the temperature so far, it looks really, really good because it's slowly but steadily rising. And I love that for her. So if you're using the family awareness method, then you could use your temperature, your cervical mucus, and the cervix position to actually determine if you've ovulated. But many of my members do luteinizing hormone measurements and the temperature measurement and their cervical mucus. And that's fine too. And then you're looking for a sustained rise in temperature for at least 11 days.